You're a fucking idiot. Come on, take it apart. Take off the uh, crate. You're gonna step on those screws, you know that. Yay! And I'll have a fun, uh, fun memory. Fragile. Did you have to pay for the, the crate? As part of the, the freight cost, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? Like, put some at an angle. Why? This is the way you pack a vintage computer. Remember that one that we that came in a box that was all shattered? I remember. What was that, a Model 4? That was a Tandy 6000. Candy 10 in the flesh. Looks like it came through unscathed. A little bit of paint there. I'm gonna clean that off. You wanna unbox the whole thing before you do the wrapping or no? Yeah, you might as well. It's missing the drawer. I gotta try and find that. I got the two Memorex 8 inch single-sided floppy drive. Should have all the software and documentation in the box. <coughs> Where'd you put the razor knives? Uh, there should be, I have one. Do I have any pocket? Let's take this plastic off. Watch the keyboard. Oh, is it still in the basement? It looks like it. I don't know where it was The screen is all fucked up. Yeah, that's typical of those CRTs from back in the day. Oh, it could have used a better tape here. It's rusty. Yeah, I know about that. I'm going to have to repaint that. Keyboard needs a little work on some of these keys. It's been glued. Yeah, possibly. So make sure the patch fix it. Doesn't make that good. Do you have the key? No, but it should be a generic key. You even got the key code on it, so. You might have the key in this box, but Should I still continue to open it or not? Yeah, go ahead.
check the back of this thing. Make sure all the boards are still in there. Hoppin' Sport Tandy 6000 that came without the 68,000 CPU board. 68,000 memory board, so I'm always cognizant of that. Um, Did you get all the screws in the set? Yeah, but if I have once this removes, this is gonna fall. I don't know what that's gonna do once. Yeah, just break it off. You, you wanna hold this? You wanna hold this? Or, you know, Yes, I didn't. Yeah, no, he didn't. There we go. Break it. There we go. <clears throat> There we go. I'm not sure if it's missing some boards. I feel like it might be, but I'm not sure. I don't see any missing. There's all this stuff in here, like all this dust and shit. It's just dust and shit. So I don't see any dangling cables, which means it may not be missing any boards. But I've seen pictures of Tandy 10s full of cage, full, more full cage than this. So maybe it's just the memory boards. These look like the memory I boards the right here. So maybe that Tandy 10 that I saw pictures of just had additional memory boards. I'm not sure at this point. We'll have to find out. Uh, I believe all the technical documentation is in that box. So we'll be able to go through it. So this base is plastic. This is actually plastic. This edge is metal though. So it's resting is a metal piece, but then this is a plastic desktop. Plastic. Yeah, there are two distros in here? Yeah, there are two. Why is it not open? Yeah, I don't know. It's either rusted shut or it requires power to open, I'm not sure. Nice power supply down there. Soup's in the box. Lots of software, I like to see that. That's what we got. Hangtown Tire, accounts receivable. Body shop, accounts receivable. These look like data disks, maybe. Strauss, accounts receivable. Ledger, Peachtree software. So this looks like the software, the Peachtree software that came with the Tandy 10. It's nice to see. Tandy Basic. Huh. So little is known about the software suite of the Tandy yeah, 10. Yeah, it comes with free uh, acorns. Free acorns. Lots of discs. It's great to see. I'll have to image all of these. Bigelow Payables program. Accounts receivable. Inventory management. This is nice. Tandy 10 basic reference manual. Got some names on here. Todd Milburn, Ted Sims with a phone number. CPM, Peachtree, so and CPM. So it's a basic reference manual for Tandy basic on the Tandy 10. Looks 
but just some basic programming examples. What do we have here? So this is the ads manual, it looks like. Some Radio Shack documentation from Wes Stewart. Do not erase any Tandy diskettes with a bulk tape eraser. If you do, the entire diskette will be erased, including the soft sector format. There's no capability to format the diskettes on the Tandy 10. Mm, that's interesting. So this is the ad system. So the Tandy 10 was a rebranded ad system 70. So this is the ads documentation. I'm hoping there's technical documentation in here. This looks more like programming. What else we got? We got the accounting package software, account receivable, payroll, general ledger, accounts payable. We'll have to go through all of this. Here, what we got? There you go, a Tandy 10. Get this puppy all restored and up and running. Looks complete. Again, like I said, except those circuit boards and except for the missing drawer. So I will have to find a way of creating a reproduction drawer. I doubt I'd ever find the original. I'm glad it made it here. It survived the shipping. It'll require some work. It should be well worth it. Big desk. Wider than even a model, model 2 desk. like a formica top here. Looks like the glue has come undone. We can re-glue that back down. But it's all in good shape, which is nice. It's a little dirty. That's great to see. No major damage to that countertop. This can all be cleaned up. We just have to respray this, this side of the metal. Like that might have been exposed to some moisture. Clean it up, respray this one leg here. Try and get a match. All right, stay tuned for more.